this knife, if you can see this or not, HMCS Montreal 2002, Operation Apollo. Cool, eh? Well, guess what? I got this from a buddy in the Navy. It's good to have friends. That is for sure. Okay, where's the hole here? I'm failing the IQ test here for sure. I'm probably doing it upside down. Anyway, this is how I'm going to open it. Straight down the middle. <clears throat> this will open last. That's the what I think it is, but this says free gift. I don't know what's in here. And I had no idea this was in there, but I'll open this first. See that? This is a Swiss rifle cleaning kit. I was interested in this um, for various reasons. Nylon brush, copper brush, and uh, chamber brush. Swiss. Okay, that is seriously cool because what I ordered is a Swiss rifle cleaning kit. <laughs> he gave me his spare. Except this has got the oilers in it. And this is brand spanking new. Look at this. Definitely. Okay, let's do a quick assembly. So I want to find something out about this. I've been looking at it, looking at it, going, geez, you know, the Swiss, they don't fool around. If the Swiss are making it, you know it's going to be good. <clears throat> Definitely steel, and then we got um, brass fittings. The brass will not um, mar your rifling. Oh, did I get... Hang on here. The, um, the fit along these threads is nice and tight. Nice and tight. Come on. Mm, you don't want to go on. Yeah, I wonder why that won't go on. Let's try this down here. There. Find a way.
Mm. Okay, I'm definitely thinking the threads on this are either toast or I'm feeling the IQ test and I'm pretty sure that I am because I just saw this. Please go on. I don't want to force it because I may not be getting it right. Nope, does not thread on. So there's that problem. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Maybe it's a blown segment. But here's the thing is you can put on as many segments as you want. You can make this as long as you want. So having, having kind of a, um, a spare like what Martin has provided in case you get a, a faulty or maybe because it's brass the, the threads got stripped. Okay, so I got one, two, three, f three segments. Yeah, definitely another segment is required. That's the drag. And it spins, there's a bearing point here. I love the fact that we have these. It's very interesting to see. These are definitely 30 caliber brushes. But once these wear out, what do you do next? Oh yeah, look at that. They're good brushes. Nice and hard. And this, uh, oh, it's a board. That has to be a board guide. That has no, it's not. What is that? Oh, that's for, that's probably for uh, for the chamber. See if this will unthread. I'll oh, just seeing if the threads will fit it. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably just uh, you stick your uh, your cotton swab in there, and then you can use this to uh, clean out your chamber. Sweet. What else is in here? What's this? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a mirror. So you can inspect your chamber. You get inside there, see a reflection. That's what, I, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a piece of glass in there, that's a mirror. And here we have this famous Swiss grease. Yes, it is highly viscous, as it should be. Well, you know what, uh, Martin? Thank you for the spare. I mean, I got this clean kit is awesome. Here's the thing: I wanted to see if the Canadian brushes would fit. I guess your Parker Hail cleaning kits will fit the same threads. No. It won't because they're reverse threads. Oh, these are two. Okay, let's see if the let's see if the Parker heel will fit. It does. Yes. Same threads. Oh, that is awesome. So now, now I know you can get replacements. Okay, let's try it out. This is the Swiss 30 caliber brush, nylon. There we go. Good resistance all the way through. Let's do this maybe 10 times, then we'll check to see if anything has come undone.
One more time. Brush is still on. No slack. Nothing's come undone. Having that bearing in the front removes all of those problems. That's sweet. I think the idea here is that uh, this little mirror is supposed to fit into the a 30 caliber stripper clip guide. This is a 303, so it won't just quite fit. And it's just supposed to stay there so that you can look down your bore. Works well enough, I guess. <clears throat> so let's compare that uh, Swiss SIG 30 caliber 50 burning machine gun kit with uh, what is commonly available on the marketplace. This is a Hops number no. 9 Deluxe gun cleaning kit, universal pistols, rifles, shotguns, blah, 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 patches, silicone cleaning cloth. Let's have a look. Which is the better buy? Nice looking um, wooden box, pretty thin, looks like Maranti wood from Southeast Asia. Look at that, it's kind of nice looking. Okay, so we got this uh, gun and reel silicone cloth, flannel cloth, polishes, cleans and coats, surface with a protective finish, removes fingerprints and restores luster. Guide to gun care, if you don't already know. And here we have lubricating oil, hops number nine, bore, number nine salt bore solvent. This stuff I think is kind of watered down compared to what it used to be. Back in the day it was carcinogenic and hazardous, but sure worked. Here's the thing that kills me though. We got all these nice accessories. We got some patches, you know, whatever. Those look like an uh, inch and a quarter. And here we got uh, various brushes, which are worth about two bucks each. Which is nice. But here's what kills me, is this aluminum, these aluminum rods. Yeah, it works. Don't, don't get me wrong, it works. but it is nowhere near the quality. Of course the bearing is on the handle side. Unlike the Swiss kit, which is on the, the bearing is located down here where it really should be. Now if, you, if, if it's spinning freely at this point, you don't need to worry about these coming undone. Here if it's fixed, the brush will come, slowly come undone depending on what the twist of your barrel is, or the segments will come apart will just naturally start to come apart, which is a pain. So you're constantly having to, to spin your rod inside the bore to re-engage your brush so it doesn't just you know, unthread and, and impregnate itself to the inside of your bore. This is not a good rod design. One of the reasons why I went to a, a single rod, but I, I gotta tell you is that I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, um, uh, how should we say, Pretty convinced that the SIG rod is going to work well. Anyhow, thank you very much, uh, Martin. Uh, Corwin Arms, you guys, he's got a whole bunch of these. Uh, go check them out. That's solid uh, steel with brass. The only problem with that that I can see is you just can't use uh, a bore guide like this. Oh well. Can deal with that. Let's see what else was in the box. This right here. Sometimes Martin gets some really interesting stuff in. So I didn't know that this is was brand new, but it appears to be it's a replica bracket for the number four mark one t sniper okay i'm gonna need that knife again I'm gonna put it 
my pocket. Appears to be kind of like a pot metal, but you know what? That suits me just fine because if you really study the um, the real number four brackets, they look pretty pitted too. Go all the way through, and yeah, let's see if it fits. Well, and these here are um, replica pads with screws. One, two, three, four, five, then I drop a screw. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, let's uh, see if it fits the rifle. Actually. Now I'll do this very carefully. A little bit of resistance, not too bad. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Definitely feels tighter than my uh, my other replica scope mount. I have here. It may be the same manufacturer or at least the same manufacturer. I'd say yes except this one's got a, serial, a fake serial number stamped into it. Obviously I've been using this more. The bluing is 100% on this one. But it appears to be the same bracket which is I'm fine. fine definitely fine with that. Ugh. No, they're different. That's different, that's different. Might be the same manufacturer, but they're not the same. Anyhow, go have a look at what uh, Corwin Arms has on his website. He's got all kinds of cool stuff, and he's the only chap that I'm aware of that's bringing in Lee Enfield, you guys. He's still got, he's bringing in incredible SMLEs, number number one Mark threes, the occasional number four pops up as he receives them. They keep trickling in, so you guys really should be paying attention to his website. He's finding cool stuff like this. And these Swiss rifle cleaning kits. Thank you for the freebie there, uh, Martin. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing great. Cheers, and as always, Maple Leaf up.